Today is Monday, October 14, 2024. And I am the representative of the Holy Extraterrestrial Homo Sapiens Superior God Species that dwells within the everlasting holy in its void of outer space. Who is also well known on this planetoid where we all, us humans, exist at um, as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, who is Israel, and his biological DNA son, Yahshua, if I pronounce that correctly, who is none other than his one and only begotten Son of Man. The who shall ever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. John 3 and 16. And this video is to show our support of Camilla Harris being the next president of the United States of America and Tim Walsh to be the next vice president of America. And we are exactly 22 days away from election day. The representative of the holy extraterrestrial homo sapien superior god species scientific astrobiology point of view of god supports vice president kamala harris for president of the united states of america and governor tim waltz for vice president of the united states of america spoiler alert governor tim waltz is also going to be president after president kamala harris is finished with the white house this will also bring my prophecy of two black presidents back to back to pass right before everybody's eyesight here on planet Earth. The second black president wasn't going to be Ben Carson, or a man, but instead it meant that it was going to be a female, original native of planet Earth and this sector of the universe where this Milky Way galaxy and solar system is located at which is also known as a black woman, and her name is Kamala Harris. This is also one of the prophecies that the Holy ETHS gave me. They also once showed me a vision when I was in the U.S. Army of a man and a woman dressed respectfully in a female pants suit outfit was behind the White House talking to a man that was also dressed in a respectable suit. They were discussing something, but I could not make out what they were saying or what they looked like genetic makeup wise. I tried looking at their hands, but I could not see either their face or their hands. But I can tell by looking at the silhouette of their figures that they had straight hair, and Joe Biden and Kamala Harris both have straight hair and both wear pants, suits and both were seen several times in the backyard of the White House talking to one another and all of this is caught on camera. I was in the army during 2005 I made the mistake of opening my mouth and telling somebody what I saw because I thought it was cool, unlocking and bragging about another brand, new brain power ability, just like it was when I unlocked my brain power aerial nieces and psychometry and that was the end of my military career. It also probably had something to do with that aerial nieces temper tantrum that I performed off base in front of military personnel, witnesses and civilian witnesses and a police officer witness that I did once in 2005 that ended up killing 22 civilians in a trailer park back in Tennessee. And boy was the Kentucky and Tennessee State Police mad and anger at me, but they couldn't apprehend me or arrest me because as far as federal government, criminal law is concerned X-Men quality like abilities and metahuman abilities is nothing but fantasy and is most definitely impossible and doesn't exist and there is no way to press charges against me even though I performed it in front of witnesses. Maybe the policeman's police car recorded me performing the aerial nieces with me using absolute fury, rage, and anger and then reported it to the state police and this could explain why the state police was so angry at me and so mad at me and was staked out in front of Fort Campbell, Kentucky with every exit going in and out of Fort Campbell for about 48 to 72 hours. But in reality it's not really me unlocking brain power it's just really my relationship that I have with the holy extraterrestrial homo sapiens superiors from outer space that are known as God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth and holy angels that follow them. All I simply do is make a request whether if I'm frustrated, angry, happy or mild tempered and then my holy friends from outer space will make a decision if they're going to allow me to use aerial nieces or psychometry by receiving and getting permission from them first to be able to do and perform it. This is the only way that I've been able to unlock these abilities through prayer power and request power. If permitted when I pray I get what I request for. If I am not permitted then I don't get what I want. 
I know this for a fact because I've been trying to win the lottery since I was 19, and I actually do know how to win the lottery with using a simple lottery number. Trap strategy are a simple quick pick strategy in the lottery commissions of the state of Texas and maybe even perhaps the whole entire USA and the world cheats by monitoring the bids before the lottery drawings take place so that they can have the advantage to be able to use lottery science in order to have more losers than winners. Because all lottery commissions of planet Earth financially benefits off the losers, not the winners so, therefore if a man like me that can read numbers better than I can read words who also knows how to win the lottery is most definitely bad for business because it decreases the lottery commission's profits from the unsuspecting losers that are not aware of lottery science and don't know how to win the lottery with using nothing more than brain power. All I need is a fair and honest chance to win a jackpot without the lottery commissions of the state of Texas and maybe, perhaps the whole entire country from automatically and indefinitely changing the lottery machines and ball set to a different machine and ball set that is calibrated by a decimal or by a fraction differently from the machines that were previously swapped out. The lottery commissions do this automatically in order to control the natural outcome of the lottery drawings so that the lottery commissions can have more losers than winners. All lottery commissions use some type of lottery science to naturally control the outcome of the lottery drawings when it is needed to block or stop. Minorities are individuals that use brain power in order to attempt to win a jackpot. Basically by doing the famous scam artist scam that is known as the classic bait and switch also known as lottery science. Using nothing but your brain power to win a jackpot or being an intelligent minority that knows how to win unlimited jackpots is illegal here in the USA according to the state of Texas Lottery Commission and maybe even perhaps the whole entire USA will punish and defeat all individuals that will attempt to use their brain power will be met and defeated by the Lottery Commission's lottery science so that they can defeat these individuals unjustifiably by changing the what-if possibility of what would have naturally happened if the lottery commissions did not use their lottery science to change the outcome of the lottery drawings. I once had a racist sergeant over me named Sergeant Jax who told me he did not like me because I don't look like his son, and he also told me in the US Army that we can't change 200 years of how America has been running itself, and immediately after I got out of the military military helmet, the very next president of the United States was Barack Obama and now soon to be president of the United States of America in the next 22 days, from today Kamala Harris who are actually doing it and changing the way America's been ran for over the last 200 years. When Barack Obama was president I was told by the holy ETHS that there are going to be two black presidents back to back and now I see and understand what they were talking about and this is why I support Kamala Harris for president of the United States of America and Tim Watts for vice president of the United States of America. With 71% of the woman's vote plus 71% of the black vote equals she automatically wins. But for some strange reason Donald Trump can't add, even though he acts like he is a professional businessman that is good with finance and financial numbers.